So I'm going to take a wee walk around the around the trucks here. There's Jack. Yeah, all right. So Jack, tell us about this mighty Vitara. What have you done to her? <laughs> so uh, let's see, this is the Rhino Winch, isn't it? That's the Rhino Winch. Yeah. I knew you had to modify in behind the bumper here to have the winch fitted, and didn't you? I had to make my own winch plate for it. Aye, so the, the winch plate, just how we look and under here, hey, lie down the ground. So, oh no, you can't really see it, can you? Uh, good set of tyres on her, Jack. Where did you get the lift kit for it? Uh, Black Raptor, eBay. Black Raptor. There they are there. Ooh. Right. Black Raptor. Um, so she's had the lift. Some machine high. There's a great sticker on her there, look. And this snorkel then, Jack. What do you do with it? I'll be a snorkel. Uh, tried to buy one for them. Seems to be a very nice market. Not many available. So did the welder out and started fabricating. So <laughs> Could you open the bonnet and show us how she goes in that? There's the crazy kid. Hey, crazy kid. Well, professionally done, you can't even see it. Okay. It's on there. And Tidy job, sir. Professional. Professional, hey, professional. What engine's in her? It's a 2 litre HDI engine. 2 litre HDI. Uh, what does that come on? Peugeot's? Peugeot 406. Peugeot 406 engine, so pretty easy to get parts for. Pretty easy to get parts for. Uh, very easy to get parts for. And this thing, has shocked everybody. Has, you know, right? everybody thought, how is the Fatara going to do, especially a long wheelbase one? And she does really well. Um, one of the advantages is you can lie down in the back of her. Uh, so if you if you go and buy a Suzuki Jimny, you can't really camp with it, or if you do, you know, you're limited in space. But the, the Fatara XL, she has a longer wheelbase, longer longer back door. It's probably me messy in here but these uh, these seats here they fold down and ja Jack's expecting there look there's nappies. <laughs> uh, so look plenty of room in her here. Alright well we go we'll go and have a talk to the goat here. Mr. Goat! Right on, he's camera shy, so I'll have to go on to the camera with him. Hold on, I'll turn the camera around here so the folk can see it. This is a this is a tidy job. This is a second hand bumper, wasn't it? I I got it off another boy that's in the group with. Um, the original tail lights go in there, and I just plated them off and put them LED lights on just for. If you break them off, they're cheaper to replace. Aye, aye. Oh, good job, hey. Plenty yeah, of light out the back. Or I'd say there's there's more light at the back of her than there is the mud hunter anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got we've got a wee light up here too. She what? How's she wired? Just under the cigarette light. Under the cigarette lighter. <laughs> <laughs> so that's TD5 inside map yours, didn't it? Yep. What sort of brake horsepower? I think it's 
around 180, 190. 180, 190 brake. Good going oil thing, like. And she, uh, bigger intercolor and stuff on it. Bigger intercolor. I'll pop the bonnet till we see that, hey. Oh, aye, right, there, look. Nice shiny parts. What makes that? The Rhino winch. Bumper on her. She's what? Good job, nice and cool. Stick, stick the thing down on her there. Give her a wee rev till we hear her there. <laughs> look, and wh whenever you buy a TD5, look at the sort of women that you pull. Oh, huh? okay. Why are you good looking? That's all. <laughs> so here's another ganch here. Quite a few ganches down here today. What's this boy doing? Take her easy. Uh, so tell us about this old wagon here. She's been, this is my brother for anybody that doesn't know. So Jordy would be a wee bit more quiet, a wee bit more reserved, and a wee bit, a wee bit better at fixing things. <laughs> uh, this disco here, we got to take the snow on this disco, didn't we? So we would have been, what, 14, 13, 14, whenever her dad owned this. So she's been about for a while and she's still going 300 TDI and she was, she was being off-roaded back then. So we'll, we'll take a wee scoop round her here. Come you out, Jordy, and show us round. So she's a three door. Yep. So that means, see, back wonder. There's not too many three doors now. Us boys real like the three doors, so we do. We're a real fan of them. That's uh, the Range Rover classics. Whenever the three door, three doors are very rare, and them um, they've went up in money. So we like to try and hold on to the three door discos as well. They're 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 hard got now. Well, you've done a lot of work on this here recently, Jordy. Uh, all new poly bushings, uh, new shocks. I uh, just freshed up a lot of welding for MOT. Aye. Uh, she's had a... Keeping her alive. She's had a bit of the stick now, hey, hasn't she? Aye. Uh, 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 aye. New winch on it. A uh, new winch on her too, aye. Uh, you I pulled the bonnet here. I uh, pulled the bonnet there. Huh? Hey, here, look, look at this here now. Look at what we've came along. There's, there's a wee bit of Land Rover in this. It's just came along. That's the sort of wagons that we see here in Bushmills. A wee bit of Land Rover runner. <laughs> so, uh, now these oil, these oil things here. They wouldn't be as quick as the TD5s. They make about 110 brake standard. But you can do a wee bit of fettling at them, Jordy, can't you? Okay. What, you? what have you done to her here, just to give her a wee bit more power? Nothing really. That's the end standard, that one. They done the... You screwed, the, screwed her a wee bit, haven't you? No. No, it's not even screwed. It's just bog standard height, but you can. You can do... A wee bit of screw in here. It's not all known for these things to, to make here. Go ahead. Stairs to screw for her there to screw it. Come here. It's like a nice uh, Peugeot V Turbo, you know, that sort of thing. Very basic engine, very, very simple to maintain. Uh, look after, you know, that's 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 one of the reasons why I drive the, the TDI. 
um, you know, they make 110 brakes standard, you maybe get 140, 150 brake out of them. Forby do a lot of the tuning parts for them. Um, and they, they do, they pull well now. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. Good big battery in her. And there's a bit of lift in her too, isn't there? Two inch lift, yes. Two inch lift. Doesn't seem bad. Um, set ends of turbo tyres. Uh, what's new? Everybody's always asking about tyre sizes. So these ones here, that's a... 265. 265, 75, 16. On a steel modular with a two inch lift. So you can see, you can see how that looks there. And the other thing we like about this is there's no sunroofs in it. Yeah. No bother with sunroofs. And uh, Jordy's actually done a wee bit of work to this one here. She was she was rotting up and around here. And what he done was he got another one and he, he cut the roof and he's welded this. Got it all nice to paint it and then scratched it, it again. And then painted it and then scratched it again. So uh, the roof was the roof was repaired and welded. And then uh, uh, and then painted. There's the crazy kids. Yeah. So give her a wee rev there, Jordy, down here. See how healthy she is. Healthy enough, hey. Interior of it. Some plastic. The roof cloth's actually not too bad in this. You uh, do you must know, the roof cloth. Tax screws holding it up. So uh, you, a few wee tacks up in there, eh? Which uh, it's not bad now. <coughs> We'll be doing a few more of these live feeds here uh, just whenever I meet up with boys and get speaking to them. So make sure you're tuning into our channel. Uh, and if you want to go on an adventure, visit www.flatcapadventures.com. We do uh, adventures in Ireland and the UK. Um, we're based in Northern Ireland. We actually stand outside my house at the Middle Fish Mills. Uh, so if you're in England or Wales or Scotland you want to come to Ireland, give me a shout, I can take you around. Um, and for the guys here, if you want to go to Donegal or you want to go across to Wales, uh, to England, Green Lane, uh, also give me a shout, we can sort that out as well. Um, so yeah, visit the website, have a look. Uh, we are, we're, the business is now growing pretty well. Um, so we're we're doing the tours pretty regularly now. Um, all different vehicles, you know. There's from new stuff. There's the new L200s, new Hiluxes out with us, uh, all the way down to these Euler Euler things, you know. The us oil buddies run around us. Uh, there you go. So uh, give us a shout if you want to get out. Cheers. Bye.